Start off by creating a new Unity project. Once you've done that, right click in the hierarchy panel, go create empty and hit player. Right click on that player you've just made, go 3D object and capsule. And this is gonna be you, I'm just gonna call it player. So you can see that's you in the middle. Go ahead and take your main camera on the left there. Go ahead and drag it into that player file there. So you should see that this is a folder with your two objects inside. Now click on your main camera on the left and go into the inspector panel. If you don't see that, go window, general and inspector. Reset the camera to 000. This should get it inside of your player and then drag it to the top. This is for first person. If you want third person, you can go ahead and just drag that camera wherever you want. So I'm just going to drag it a little far away and you can see a third person view. But for this, I'm just going to do a first person. Right click, go 3D object and create plane. And again, set this to 000. Click Y and then grab that square in the middle and drag it out. And this is going to be the plane that you're actually going to be walking on. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm just creating some cubes just for reference. So you can see that I'm actually moving because without them, it's a little bit difficult to see with just a plain background. If you're actually walking around, go ahead and right click on the bottom here, go create and make a new folder. And this is just for a good habit of organization to keep everything nice and organized. Right click again, go create C sharp script and then go player movement and double click on that player movement script that you've just created there. Now go ahead and paste this text in. If you want a detailed explanation of what all this does, just let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to make one. And also make sure that right beside public class, that player movement thing there, matches the name of the script that we called it. So it's gonna be player movement here. I'm now gonna click out of there and let it save. I'm gonna click on my player file, not the actual player, but the folder itself. Drag the player movement into there. So you can see it's now created a character controller and a player movement script. And now take the main camera, drag it inside of there, and now you can change these to whatever you want. I just had them set to some stuff, but I like to change it a little bit. Now you got your walk speed, your run speed, all of that. Start your game and you can see that you are successfully moving around perfectly with no issues. Space to jump, WASD to move, left shift to sprint, and R to crouch. Of course, you can change these controls as well inside of the player script if you want. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.